So we're starting off in the back end, the dashboard of the platform, and I can create spaces. So when I click create space, you'll see I have a number of templates here. We have over 50 different templates of different rooms for different purposes, whether it's product showcases, production studios, um, Zen Hub Gardens, uh, Island Retreats if we want. And I can just select a space and then I can create an environment from it. So I might take this virtual conference room here. I can give it a name, conference room, and create the space. Uh, we can actually jump into that really quickly and easily. You'll see uh, the 3D environment pop up in a moment. It just loads in a web browser. Again, it works on every device. So on a mobile phone or any other device you can join uh, and be a part of it. This is just one space where we might run an event and I'll explain that uh, further in a moment. First, we'll create what's called a world and a world is a collection of spaces. So I've created a, a nice conference room here, but perhaps I'm doing a trade show or an exhibition. So I can find uh, another template that might be suitable. Uh, here's one, a virtual exhibition, uh, a big hall with trade show booths. So I'm going to uh, call that the expo and create that space as well. So now we have two spaces. We have a conference space and an expo. I'll create a couple of more rooms uh, for breakout sessions. So I'll take this breakout room, call that uh, breakout one. I might choose something different for the, the second breakout room. This one where the tree looks nice. I'll choose that, call that breakout two. Now I have a collection of spaces and I can then create a world out of them. So here we are in the world section. I create a world and let's call this a uh, flock world to make it relevant to today. And I can then choose my spaces. We'll start off in the conference room. I'll add an expo. I'll add the breakout room and the second breakout room. So now we have four different spaces in this world. I'm going to click save. Now we have flock world. You'll be able to jump right in to the first environment, which is the uh, conference room. As an event organizer, I also have the ability to manage people. So let's say we had a, a session in here with um, a keynote session, then we wanted to move everybody to a breakout room or different breakout rooms. I have tools in the participants menu where I can see everyone who's joining us. And then I can, uh, in the world, see all this, all this spaces. So we have the conference, the expo, the breakout rooms, and I can take everyone in the conference room, select everyone, and I can whisper to them, send them private text messages, kick them out if they're being abusive or difficult. Uh, but I also have this option send to. So now I can send to 27 people. Great, everyone's in here, it's fantastic. I can take all 27 people and send you to um, the expo space. So here we go. Uh, you'll all get a message that you're teleporting now to a different space and you just let that time out and you'll automatically be sent. Uh, you'll start to see people disappearing from here, going to the, the expo environment. So it's that easy to manage your, your audience, to send them to different places and uh, just a great way to, to run the events organized. Now I might jump into the expo space as well. So here we go. So there's a locations menu in the top left. Uh, of the toolbar, you can manually go there if you want, click on the locations menu, the map icon, and then you can choose the, um, the expo to, to go there. Another part of the platform that's really beautiful is the ability to use AI characters or bots. So in my menu here, I can add um, a bot. So I'm gonna add one to the trade show booth that I'm in at the moment, and I'll call him the guide. Uh, so this person is now the guide bot, and I can put him in the stand wherever I want. But also I can change what he says and using text to speech, I can write whatever I would like him to say. Then I can add a camera shot for this uh, person, maybe a medium shot, and I can give them a gesture like waving their hand. Now using text to speech, this bot is now clickable and you can talk to that guide bot. Uh, just by clicking on him, uh, he'll speak to you and the bots can be programmed to speak in 50 uh, languages. So you can really make international events or multilingual events. We can obviously add content as we like. We can make many people editors and presenters. And I'll just add on top of this, we also have gamification. So you can track where people go, anything they interact with and reward them with points or virtual goods like new t-shirts or hats, their avatar that everyone can see. So that's a little tour of the platform. Uh, I didn't want to take too long uh, going through all of the features. It's much deeper and rich, but just remember there's nothing to download. It works on every single device, including virtual reality and augmented reality headsets, which means you can start to play around with VR, but not require people to have VR. And it adds a significant amount of engagement and this is important. Most people attending webinars are just watching it. I call it lean back learning, where they're sitting back and watching, consuming, and not doing much. What this platform ignites is lean forward interaction. A person is creating their own personal experience. And at the same time, you can guide them or activate them into the things that you want from events. And this changes the dynamics significantly. And that's why we've been getting such 
phenomenal growth in, in this period uh, since the lockdowns have started happening as a way to get past. And that's the, the core problem uh, that this type of platform is solving. And another thing that it is solving is actually monetization, uh, which Mike mentioned too. Uh, being able to have exhibitors and sponsors and offer them more value is another great contributing part of creating an event that can be sustainable and if not profitable.